Hello friends, welcome to AI Flux. I'm happy to announce that I'm finally over whatever sickness I have for the last two weeks, so expect the content to be slightly more consistent now. Today we're going to talk about something that uh, is a funny quirk of this channel. Ironically, the best performing video on the entire channel so far is of the waifu diffusion model. So if you're into that, uh, you're probably going to like today's video, uh, where I, I jokingly refer to uh, a leaked model from China as Stable Y Fusion. So, uh, this model came out a few days ago, and it's been touted as anything V3, and initially no one really knew what this model was. We knew it was from China, we knew that a lot of the conversation about this and the buzz of this was coming from Billy Billy groups, emanating from a single Discord group called QQ Group, the Chinese characters, I have no clue how to pronounce those, and effectively this is where eventually everyone realized this model came from. Uh, it wasn't necessarily leaked, people extracted some curious details from this, basically figuring out that it was not a leak, another leak, novel AI leak, it wasn't another stable diffusion leak, and ironically, it wasn't a leak from a Japanese company collaborating with Midjourney called uh, Niji Journey, which the fact that they would make an anime model wouldn't exactly be surprising to many people. So the basis of this model is it's another model that pretty much is intended to create uh, anime waifus, or tightly model and uh, model very well the theme that a lot of animes from Asia follow, specifically Japan. What's interesting is it is, in certain cases, better than uh, novel AI's approaches, and in many cases is um, a bit more accurate in terms of sketch style and coloring uh, than waifu diffusion. So basically, like the outputs of this in certain cases will look like something that was touched up in Photoshop that was a prior output and scale from waifu diffusion. In the initial community spill and in the initial community sort of buzz that came from this, I, I think we're starting to see a phenomena with a lot of these models. So the way the stable diffusion community, either on Reddit or any other Discord reacted to this was pretty interesting. Initially, people were saying, oh, this is just a copy. This is just a simple merge of two checkpoints. It's nothing that interesting. Uh, or, oh, it's just someone at Novel AI that has leaked something that's been tweaked a bit. And I think what I want to call what happened is the first instance of uh, like a, a visual artifact form of the placebo effect, because there are people who are posting images that were saying, oh yeah, this is from anything V3. And then later on saying, no, this is just from waifu diffusion, or this was just from stable diffusion. And there are people who would swear that they were just the same. And there have been some really good breakdowns as to what this model is good at and what it's not so good at. And I waited a little bit to make this video because I think there's more information now that conclusively has pretty much figured out what this model is, um, or at least what it isn't. And let's jump into that now. So there are a few things you can do with these models uh, in terms of the, the core trained bits that make these work. Um, the first one that was... The first one that was really focused on was what's called a VAE. So this stands for um, Variational Autoencoder. It's an essential part of the pipeline that helps Stable Diffusion figure out what the image should look like um, when it shows it to you, when, when it's done. Uh, you can use different ones uh, in the same way you can use different checkpoint model files that are trained in different ways. Uh, there's actually a whole Wikipedia article I'll put in the description, um, but it's, it's really technical, so I'm not going to get into it in the video. Basically, um, a good VAE makes for a better, more consistent output if selected correctly. So initially, a lot of people thought, huh, like maybe the VAE is different. Um, and then there was the aspect of like what parts of this are probably from Novel AI. Um, again, Novel AI is a subscription service for mostly making anime-inspired art, uh, fiction, visuals, uh, etc., um, they have an anime-based model that uh, previously was better than what anyone else had seen that was leaked. Um, and people have ended up kind of tweaking it, and that's been diffused ac across the internet, per se. And initially, people thought that's what this was, just like an improved version of the leaked novel AI model. What's interesting is that uh, people found that the checkpoint model was pretty heavily changed, and it does appear to have originated from novel AI, um, but the VAE is actually the same. So it probably was made in China, which is why the initial like buzz of this came from China. Yeah, I think like the biggest gain it, this model has is it does a much better job of hands and crowds and uh, basically like grouping subjects that are similar and having them not meld into each other is actually pretty hard to define and do explicitly in stable diffusion. What's really, what's interesting is you can actually check some a lot of these and what's 
interesting is there were initially claims that the VAE had the check, uh, the VAE had the same checksum and not the model. And now it's pretty clear that the model has been clearly changed and that um, in a lot of cases, the VAE is almost identical. Uh, or in certain cases, depending on who you trust, um, people will say the VAE is identical because the, the hash is the same. Let's look at some images that this model's made. So some of these are obviously not safe for work, so I'm not gonna put those on you know, in this video because this is going on YouTube. But um, what's crazy is these are right out of the model. So no retouching. Um, I'm not a huge anime fan, but I what I explicitly noticed in this model is that like the glowing and sort of the... Uh, the lens uh, glow it, around like brighter objects like these flowers is clearly there. Uh, the shadowing is much better. The atmospheric effects are a lot better. Uh, mouths are kind of a miss at times. Like, you know, clearly this person doesn't have a mouth. And yeah, it's just, it's more cohesive than Waifu Diffusion is, as much as Waifu Diffusion is impressive. And I think it's, Pretty cool. So there are also some yeah, explicit comparisons. So these, this is comparing Novel AI to uh, two different versions of Anything V3. Uh, so the pruned version and the non-pruned version, the most, the, the biggest difference of those two being one is uh, intended for FP16 accuracy, the other is intended for FP32. There's also a, a version of the model that actually doesn't have um, any pickled files which is kind of interesting because uh, usually like as i've mentioned this channel before when you're downloading foreign models from a questionable origin that have pickled um can you know main that have pickled dependencies uh, there's a reason to be kind of concerned with that um and the important thing to note here is that the non-pruned version of this model actually doesn't include pickled packages an interesting aside is a lot of people have posted uh the there are pickle scans of this and have said, oh, it didn't find anything. For me, that's not really good enough. Um, however, I, it's important to note that Automatic 11.11 actually has this feature built in now when you import new models and it will tell you if it finds something that it, it thinks is concerning. So um, back to comparing these models, we can see that with Novel AI, they have particles figured out pretty well and also it goes without saying, these are all the same prompts. Um, what I think is interesting is anything V3 seems to have a larger gamut of color and understand that you can direct attention with that gamut. Uh, and it's also seemingly much more aware of hair and clothing. So, and of course, like part of the prompt here is saying is defining a kind of collar or like if they're wearing a, uh, like a neck um, scarf. And what I think is interesting, the environment is much more in focus so it's saying you know we want to have uh, a, a central character or a central subject but the environment uh, should retain more detail because here you can see with novel ai it's always blurred or much farther in the background or in this case um in this seed 264 i would argue that the the model here thinks the tree is more of the focus than the character the accuracy i mean basically what you'll see with the fp32 version is that there is just more context you're able to dig in so as opposed to hands you can have gloves as opposed to just a they, they probably used foxy in part of this prompt. Um, so we see we have a fox. So there's basically just more context for it to draw from. You can see the eyes carry a bit more detail as well. I'm, I'm doing a video or people have requested a video on, and you can also see it here with part of the prompt is probably snowflakes. So we see the particle effects are, are actually snowflakes. And what's cool is you can also do stuff that's not inherently waifu. There you guys have my Reddit but that's fine. So it's kind of interesting with anything V3 is you end up with a aesthetic that when you're looking at large 3D perspectives um, that you probably wouldn't necessarily see in anime, you end up with kind of this uh, like Grand Theft Auto look, which I think is pretty cool. This person clearly likes uh, cars and large wooded um, estates. So I think it's a, it's a curious subset of images, but nonetheless, it's a pretty anime, but curiously, 
leaning towards kind of a, a GTA 5 look. As you can see here, the prompt was, well, one of them was sports car Porsche masterpiece. I, you have to wonder if there's like a language, you have to wonder if there's a language pruning aspect of this as well, because it either picked, like it picked one or the other, depending on which was coherent, which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, and the, the, the comments are also fantastic on this, like how to stop anime girls with waifus from appearing in every image. And you have to be careful of the, but uh, yeah. And then like the, what it's mostly known for, um, are these groups of anime waifus as well. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna click through this because I have no clue how much thigh YouTube considers not safe for work. So I'm gonna leave it at that. But um, this is pretty easy to find on Reddit if you want it. There was some question of the security of this model on Hugging Face, since um, this was the first place it, it kind of was posted in the US was on Hugging Face. Uh, the initial one was deleted because a bunch of people thought they had found Trojans in it. The second one has some curious threads just questioning if AI from China is safe. And uh, that's another thing that has been added to our video backlog that a ton of people have requested. Yeah, all the checkpoints are here. A lot of it isn't necessarily uh, safe per se, but it's, it's here on Hugging Face. And you can see that there was a little blip of interest so this is one of the initial sites that had a lot of uh, attention on Bilibili, which is a Chinese message board. For those of you who don't know, it's kind of like Chinese Reddit in a way. And But these are some other comparisons with Stable Diffusion uh, and a bespoke model called Anime Full Latest and Anything V3. I think it's hard to say that any of these are objectively way better than another. But again, really interesting outputs. And there's a lot of variance here as well. And these, this is focusing like purely on waifus. Just that's, that's what this, this post is mostly about. And there's a lot of thematic difference. So it looks like whatever this person was showing when I put this through Google Translate was showing that you can retain a, a pretty similar style of your character and then wildly change the background. So going from like a biblical kind of English background to a modern city like Tokyo. Doing that again here with going from sort of a uh, like, you know, early 1700s to current day to a, a future mega city. These are um, more like portraits. And I think, yeah, fortunately this doesn't get too spicy, but um, yeah, this is like a, a cloudscape prompt, which I thought was kind of interesting. The placement of flowers is interesting. What, the, the, the most interesting thing here is there's one prompt that Flat out just doesn't have any character. It's just the background and it looks at the flowers as what uh, the subject is. And then more of that similar prompt with you know further variations on different kinds of characters. And if I knew more about anime, I would maybe have some more context to add here. But unfortunately, um, it's something my girlfriend's really into, but I unfortunately don't have a lot to draw on here. So yeah, curious if any of you guys have been using anything V3. I think uh, it's a it's curious because it's one of the better, I would just call it like a merged checkpoint model that's been tuned excessively. And I'll include some of the prompts below in the description. Uh, anything that's approached this weird problem of hands getting mangled, I think is pretty interesting. And the biggest thing I have found from talking to people who have used this uh, is that it takes a bit of tweaking. And the biggest thing to consider that vastly diverges from how a lot of people use stable diffusion now is that um, manually randomizing the seed is pretty important to get results that you like. If you just leave a random seed, it's pretty hard from what I've been told to get this model to do what you want. Um, as you know, the seed determines the noise and some noise can lead to good results. Some can lead to just complete junk. Uh, the issue is if you just set uh, like negative one, which is just random as you usually would, uh, and always use a random seed, uh, you you kind of get bad results. And I think it's why initially people thought this model was just bad. And um, yeah, if you pick a number and you kind of iterate up or down and, and manually kind of use yourself as a random number generator, uh, I've been told you get better effects or better results. So uh, again, you know, this is pretty interesting. It's it touched a lot of the topics that I like to cover, which are the the security angle, the sort of leading edge side of things. And then of course, for whatever reason, uh, and we love you, our fans that are into the stable diffusion waifus. Uh, I'm coining this, the Anything V3 stable Y fusion model. Let me know what you think about that in the comments, if you've used this in the comments, and uh, if you downloaded this on your personal machine and uh, haven't had any issues.
uh, as always, I hope you learned something and I'll talk to you all soon.